Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And today, even though it was only two weeks ago that I did it, we are updating the PlayStation 1 core progress because CDXA Audio is included into the core now. Of course, these are still unstable nightly builds, and once again, we don't need that extra RAM to do it. This core is progressing so fast that I have to keep up making videos just so it is current. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link in the description below as well. But last time we showed you guys the PlayStation 1 core on Mr. Games were playing extremely well. Simply the Night was awesome, but there was no background music. But now with the newest core, that has 100% changed. Now please be aware that I am recording this Monday and I am putting it out on Thursday. So maybe things have happened since then. The maker of this core works so quickly, it's possible that I'll have to update this in two more weeks. But this is as it currently stands as of Monday. I absolutely love getting all this dialogue, even if it is so cheesy. This sounds incredible on Mr. I love it. And of course, this has one of the most iconic lines in any game, so enjoy it. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? And that begs the question, what is an FPGA? It's just a miserable little pile of logic gates. But all jokes and puns aside, having the soundtrack in Castlevania Symphony of the Night is spectacular, because this game is an 11 out of 10 for gameplay wise, but I would really say it's a 15 out of 10 for music. It's got one of the best soundtracks in gaming history, in my opinion, and it sounds absolutely spectacular on Mister. And that is the thing about this core. It is progressing so quickly, it is quite possible that we will be getting more very shortly. There is no real timeline, the maker does things as he wants, but what are we missing really? The big thing is CD, DA audio, or Redbook audio. There's so many different ways for the PlayStation 1 and game consoles in general to spool audio off a disc or to have it actually created in hardware silicon on the board. So we are still missing one version of the audio for PlayStation 1, but I would say the majority of the games you're going to play are going to have the soundtrack depending on how they work, and that is spectacular. But as good as this sounds, we have to go back again and talk about how impressive this core actually is. I'm playing Ridge Racer R4. This is one of the later games in the PlayStation 1 Ridge Racer franchise. It's pushing the hardware harder than the original games obviously were. This looks, sounds, and plays fantastic. I do not know that this is an original hardware outside of the fact that I knew there was a mister underneath me. But I mentioned earlier there are some other options that have been included in this latest nightly build, and one of the big ones is there is memory card support. Now be aware, to use the memory card at the point of recording this, you need to be on an unstable mister build. That is an unstable nightly for the mister quote unquote operating system in and of itself. If you don't know what that means, I just suggest wait until it's part of the stable mister library there's a lot of issues with it it's for testing and tinkering but you can see here we get different deinterlacing modes we can turn the dithering on or off and you'll see the background is going to get really messy if we turn dithering off it's good for some games bad for others doesn't really matter you get to pick and choose what you want but the end result is we're playing playstation 1 games on mister in full speed for the most part with so much of the audio incorporated in and the audio sounds absolutely incredible so go ahead and listen to it for like a minute i'm going to give you a little extra time here to enjoy it i'll come back and tell you more about the new features of the playstation one core but the sound is great so enjoy it
The highest compliment I can give that sound is it just sounds like a PlayStation 1. Now you will see a little graphical glitch here in the beginning of Kelowna, or Kelowna, depending on how you want to pronounce it. You will still see some graphical glitches, you will still see some bugs in this core. This is not done in any way, shape, or form, so just remember that when you're using it. If something doesn't work, maybe you should join Discord and tell the maker about it. Generally, he'll probably know what the issue is, but if he doesn't and you find a new bug, it allows him to fix it. And for people that leave comments saying, but software emulation can already do this, I understand that. I am not confused. I know software emulators can do what Mr. is doing. And I know in some instances like Duck Station, an emulator I did a video on previously, it can do more than this. This is just a different way to play the games we love, and it's an extremely impressive way to do it. But please be aware, I do know that software emulation has been around for PlayStation 1 for a long time. I am under no illusions to that. But what Mr. is doing here with the PlayStation 1 core is just absolute magic in my opinion. It is a replication of the original hardware, and the games that I'm playing on it play how I remember them, and that's what is really important to me. Now what is not working right now, since this is just a preview video, it's not just about the sound, analog video is extremely hit or miss. Nine times out of ten, it's not going to work the way you expect it to. It's left in as an optional feature, but it is not currently being worked on like the sound is. So if you have any issues with analog video out, and I'm sure that you will, it is not a bug, it is just something that's not being worked on actively, and will probably be taken care of more towards down the road, so to speak. So if you've got analog issues, don't worry about it. We all know about it. I'm sure it'll get fixed. And if you just heard a bark in the background, normally I would cut that out, but my wife and I just got an eight-week-old corgi puppy, and if she wants to talk on the channel, she can. That has nothing to do with Mr. I just figured I'd tell you guys in case you did hear those barks. But taking a look at Tekken 3, another late game in the PlayStation 1 library, this was very graphically intense when it came out. It was pushing the PlayStation 1 hardware to its theoretical limits, and here on Mr. it's running at full speed. There's no input lag. I can pull off as many moves as I remember from Tekken because it's not my number one franchise franchise, but as far as a game to show you from a technical perspective, it is quite good because not only does it have the soundtrack, but it's got the speed, and that's the thing. This core is running the large majority of PlayStation 1 games incredibly well. Sure, there's going to be a freeze or a glitch here. That's to be expected because it's still in development, and I love that the maker of this core, and I'm going to try to pronounce it, FPGA Zoom Spas. I believe someone told me in German that says make fun. I could be wrong. The fact that he's letting us play this before it is done, he doesn't have to. But the fact that we've gone from this right here, a completely void of any music background scroll, to this... is nothing short of spectacular. This feels like playing a PlayStation 1, maybe just a glitchy one that's having a little bit of problems, but what it really tells us is that this core is well on its way to being finished hopefully sometime in 2022. Now, I don't know all of the work that the maker of the core still has to do, and sometimes the last 10% of the job can take 50% of the time. I know that as a filmmaker, sometimes those finishing touches take longer than the actual assembly of the project itself, but it is getting there, and that is the best thing. I am playing Resident Evil 2 on Mr. and you take a look at this absolutely gorgeous background that Capcom made. This feels like the first time I played the game and just looking around this scene here, seeing what's going on is just wonderful and everything about Resident Evil 2 is looking, sounding, and feeling like the game I remember on original PlayStation 1 hardware and now it has the sound incorporated in it and that is the absolute best thing and that's why I keep updating this just to get people excited about it because it is coming, it's in the works, it's being made, everything is still continuing progress. And if you do want to start testing this and you're not part of the Mr. Discord, if I remember to do it and I usually forget, I will leave a link down below so you can sign up as well because all this footage you're seeing right now is stuff that you could be playing currently if you own a Mr. And if you report some bugs and we find some more stuff about it, it just helps the work go that much quicker. 
But yeah, that is the PlayStation 1 core preview number three for Mr. It's getting really close. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. Are you currently testing PlayStation 1 on Mr.? Do you own a Mr.? Or do you just like watching my Mr. videos to see what's happening? Short of that, I will be back next Thursday with an episode in my Mr. series. I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But we are so, so close for PlayStation 1 on Mr. It's working. It's playing great at this point in time. There's just features being added. Short of that, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.